Hey friends, today we're going to be talking about multiplying and dividing integers, right? And again, this is without a calculator. We're going to do this what we call longhand. Main thing you want to know about multiplying and dividing is that you make yourself a little cheat sheet so that you can figure out whether or not your answer should be positive or negative. You start by drawing a tic-tac-toe board. You take one diagonal and you make it positive and everything else you're going to fill in negative. So the first column would be your first integer, second would be your second integer, and the last one would be your answer. And it works left to right, right to left, or diagonally, right? So if your first integer is a negative and your second integer is a negative, then your answer is a positive. If your first integer is negative and your second integer is positive, your answer is a negative. So basically, if your integers are the same sign, your answer is going to be positive. If at all they are mixed, then your answer is going to be negative. So let's see what that actually looks like when we start using real numbers. So let's start with multiplication. If I have negative 5 times 3, remember a number on the outside of the parentheses means multiplication, so if I have negative 5 times 3, the first step is you just ignore the signs. 5 times 3 is 15. And then I go back and I look at the signs. I have a negative and a positive. Well, a negative and a positive means my answer is negative because that's mixed, right? So negative 15. Let's say I have negative 6 times negative 6. Right? So I ignore the signs. 6 times 6 is 36. And I have a negative and a negative. So I go to my board. A negative times a negative is a positive. Right? Same signs. My answer is going to be positive. This works the exact same with division. Right? So for all of us that really don't like division, don't worry. This is not that hard. It's pretty easy peasy. All right, so if I have negative 10 divided by 2, remember the fraction bar means division, I ignore the signs. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and then I have a negative integer and a positive integer, so a negative and a positive make a negative. All right, let's try one last one. Let's say I have 12 divided by negative 4, and we're going to put that in parentheses, right? Because that way it groups the negative sign with the integer. So 12 divided by negative 4, I'm going to ignore the signs. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and I have a positive and a negative, which means my answer is negative because those are mixed, right? So step 1, ignore the sign, do the math. Step two, use your tic-tac-toe board to figure out if your answer should be negative or positive. If they're mixed, a positive and a negative, your answer's negative. If they're the same, a negative and a negative, or a positive and a positive, your answer will be positive. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let me know if you have any questions. Love ya. Bye.